good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I am just getting my day started. It's a little after eight and I successfully woke up before Grace today with enough time to like just have some time to myself, drink my coffee, chill, then do a workout, then shower and get ready. And oh my gosh, am I so glad I did because I just feel like whenever I, I carve out that time in the morning and also it has to be coupled with Grace sleeping in <laughs> like she is right now, um, I feel like I just kind of set myself up for success for the day. And when I wake up at the same time as her and I don't have that time for me, I feel like I, I'm starting the day kind of already trying to play catch up. So I'm stoked um, and I, I'm like ready, ready. I guess I could pack, um, pack up like the diaper bag and a snack bag for today. I'm taking Grace to the safari park. We have passes for the San Diego Zoo, which also has the safari park. They're like two separate parks, but they're both under the San Diego Zoo. So the pass works for both. The San Diego Zoo is super cool. Like it, I mean, it's like world famous for a reason. I love it. We go there a lot, but the, the safari Safari Park is I think my preferred place. It's just so like open and beautiful. Obviously it's super cool to like see the animals and stuff and Grace loves that and I love getting to see her experience that and like connect with animals but just even just walking there it's really really nice and they've got like great play areas and stuff too so it's easily like a fun full day activity when we want it to be so I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do today just for like the whole day essentially. So yeah if I pack up like all our stuff now, then when she wakes up, I can just get her dressed, have breakfast and we can go. Oh, also I feel like I should just add in this disclaimer because I always see a couple comments about this whenever I mention going to the zoo. I am super picky about which zoos I choose to support, where I'm comfortable going. My kind of like baseline litmus test is it being AZA accredited, which means it has like the high, highest standard of care and also nonprofit because then, you know, they're they're not they're not going to be putting the the profits before the animals and the conservation and the research. The San Diego Zoo and Safari Park falls under both of those. And they're also like just an amazing organization. They do so much fantastic work for research and conservation and their breeding programs. Obviously everyone has, you know, different standards and different comfort zones for what organizations they're comfortable supporting. I am fully on board the San Diego Zoo train. So um, that's why we tend to go there a lot. I grew up going there a lot too. We had passes. So it's also like very nostalgic for me to now see, you know, Grace playing on the same place structures and taking in the same animal exhibits that I did. So I think today's gonna be really fun. It's also been um, pretty rainy the past week, but today the forecast looks clear. So I'm gonna bring like rain stuff, jackets, changes of clothes, umbrella, but I think we'll be good. All right, so um, let's go pack up the bags. I'm gonna get the stroller in the car and also the tush baby. I haven't been using the stroller as much because I'm just, so in love with the tush baby and I love getting to to hold grace and have that closeness and I feel like especially at places like the safari park where you know I want to show her things it's really nice so I'm still gonna bring that today but I'm also bringing the stroller because since we're gonna be there for the whole day um I want to have that as an option and also she'll need to nap while we're there since it's the full day so she naps really well in the stroller so we'll have that with us the tush baby as well snack bag diaper bag anything else oh phone charger phone battery so that during Grace's nap, I can play Pokemon Go because um, the Safari Park, great place for Pokemon. All right, I'm gonna load up this bento box with food for Grace. So we're gonna start with making a PB&J. There we go, now we're gonna cut it up and into the bento box. All right, now we're gonna cut up an apple, washed and chop. All right, and then the extra pieces that didn't fit in, um, I'm just gonna serve with her breakfast this morning. We're gonna do some pretzels and a couple of these little mini naan pieces. All right, box is good. So I'm bringing this, and then I'm also gonna bring a banana, a couple pouches, also plate, bib, now I'm gonna put all of this in a bag. And then lately for my diaper bag, I've just been using this little black Fabletics uh, gym bag. I got this like three years ago. It's always been, hold on, it's a little dirty. <laughs> it's always been one of my just like go-to easy little day bags. But lately I just have been feeling like our, our big diaper bag is kind of overkill at this stage. Like when Grace was really little and we were, you know, bringing formula and bottles and packs 
pacifiers and like a million little things with us when we were going out. It was amazing, but it's kind of like bulky and heavy. And all I really need to bring with me now when we go is a bunch of snacks like I just packed and then diapers, wipes, changing pad. I can toss in, you know, a couple toys and like a hat if we need it, but all of that fits very comfortably in this little backpack. And it's just way more lightweight. It's more comfortable, especially when um, I'm going places without the stroller. I like to fit the snacks and all of her essentials and my stuff in this backpack. So then I can just wear this and the tush baby and I'm good to go. But like today we're bringing the stroller, so I'm not going to bother trying to get all the snacks in here. Those can just be separate because I'll just put that right in the bottom of the stroller. Um, I don't know why I zipped it up. I'm definitely not done. <laughs> I need to add uh, a couple more diapers in uh, from Grace's nursery when she wakes up. I'm gonna put in a sweatshirt for me. I'm also bringing my uh, like rain shell, but I think I'm just gonna put that in the bottom of the stroller on its own. This, however, Kai Kappa crew neck, I will put in the backpack along with Grace's jacket, um, which I'll get when she wakes up. I'm grabbing my uh, external MagSafe bag. I had showed this to you guys um, when I first got it and like I unboxed it. So a uh, little update on this since I uh, unboxed it in a vlog like a month ago. I'm obsessed. This is like the best, most convenient portable charger. It snaps on the back of the phone just with the uh, MagSafe magnet thing. And so it stays in place. That's not what's unique about it though. Like a lot of batteries do that. What's unique about this to the other MagSafe ones that I've tried is it actually holds a charge very well. I can get like a, a, a charge and a half really out of this. And it's just very sleek and easy to use and I love it. So very happy with that purchase, a little update there. Okay, let's see, what else do we have in here? We have my other one that I used last. So I'm gonna put this on the charger for next time. Ooh, my Dior lip oil. Put some of that on now since I didn't this morning. And I'll put that back in the bag as well. Oh, and then I've got this little, there's a hair on it, this little travel mic for my camera. Um, this works really well. Carrie Dayton actually recommended it to me and it's just so much more low profile than the big mic that I use at home. The sound quality is comparable. I'd still say this one is much better, but it's also like 20 times the size. So um, since I got this, I've just been using the big mic at home and then this one when I'm out and about because uh, it, it's, it's much more low profile. And then I'm gonna go grab my wallet and my keys and my Safari Park Pass. Got them, put those in with the mic and the lip gloss and the charger. And I'm also gonna bring my AirPods just in case I wanna listen to a podcast or something while Grace is napping. And then I also grabbed my extra camera battery, which I think is dead. So I'm gonna pop it on the charger over there. Um, and hopefully I will remember to grab it before we go. All right, now I'm gonna put everything in the car except uh, this backpack since I'm gonna be adding a couple things. All right, stroller. Why did my brain forget what this is called? Umbrella, tush baby and snack bag. Car is good for now. Dang, it's like 8.30 and Grace is still asleep. Usually she's up between like 7.30 and 8. So this is all just bonus time for me to prep. I imagine Grace is gonna be up soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on breakfast. Just gonna chop up some veggies and uh, make an omelet for her. So we've got spinach, bell pepper, onion, and mushroom. I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up a bunch of this and then some of it I can saute now for her omelet. And then the rest will be uh, prepped for the next few days of breakfast. <laughs> Grace is awake. Breakfast is ready. You'd like to eat? You want to eat here instead of your high chair? You want to eat here? Okay, that's fine with me. I'm gonna add some berries to her plate too. Are you excited? You know what we're doing today? We're going to the safari park. We're gonna see animals. Yeah, a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. And an elephant. You're so funny. All right, we are gonna eat. I'll get her dressed and ready and then we'll be out of here. Yeah! yeah. 
Grace picked this Minnie Mouse jacket to wear today, which is perfect because it's actually pretty chilly today. It's gonna be like mid 50s, which I know for most people probably isn't cold, but for San Diego, that's about as cold as it gets. Um, so she was gonna have to wear a jacket regardless and she picked this out to wear. So that is wonderful. That'll make it hopefully very easy to get her to keep her jacket on. Um, and then I just grabbed this shirt and these leggings for her to wear under. What's up? What would you like? You need help with something? With the stacker? A cookie? Um, I don't see any cookies. Oh, the cookie sheet. Smart girl. This is what you wanted? You want me to put it on your table? Okay, are we gonna put it on the table? There we go. Ooh, will you put one on my plate? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're dipping it in the tea. What a great idea. Oh, thank you. You could wanna dip it for me. Thank you so much. Mm. Oh, I'll dip it in. Mm. That is wonderful tea and great cookies. It's gonna fuel us for our fun day today, huh? Grace learned the ASL sign for cookie uh, during Christmas, which is like a C on an open palm. Oh, sorry. I was using a cookie to prop up the camera. For me? Thank you. Mm. I love watching her try to balance the, the cookies or the teacups on the little plates. Yeah, you're getting so good at it. Oh, teacup. 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 Oh, is it ready now? Thank you. Mm. You're a great barista, Grace. We're ready. What? Hmm. You wanna eat more? Okay, do you wanna have the leftover omelet? No? More what? More raspberries? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we can have more raspberries. All right, more raspberries for Grace. I'm gonna put the last few things in the backpack and then we're out of here. Going to the zoo, do, do, do. Going to the zoo, do what all do. <laughs> all right, we made it. And it actually is raining after all. It should just uh, just be a light sprinkle and for like an hour or so, but I'm glad I came prepared. All right, we're in. I have the umbrella out for like literally two minutes and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to feel the rain. It's just sprinkling and it feels nice and refreshing. So I said it once, I'll say it again. Let the rain fall down and wake my dreams. <laughs> Hello again. It is a little after 2.30. We just got off the tram ride and then I put Grace in the stroller and reclined her. So I'm gonna see if she'll nap. Because she woke up so late today and also like just wasn't showing any tired signs, wasn't grumpy. I decided to just, you know, let her keep going as long as she wanted. And she only just started to seem a little bit tired. So I think she'll fall asleep pretty soon here. It's been a wonderful day, much more rainy than we expected. It's actually been raining pretty much the entire day with like a couple little pockets of uh, paws, um, but it's been nice. Just a light drizzle, really nice temperature, and I just love the safari park. I just feel so happy here. So uh, I'm gonna walk. I just opened Pokemon Go and it looks like there's a couple raid battles starting soon, so might, uh, might check that out. And then when Grace wakes up, we'll probably enjoy another hour or two here. And she's out. That happened very quickly. Oh, I think there's an Okapi up here. I love the Okapi. There it is. 
Wow, such a cool animal. The rain is over, they said. Absolute lies. Lies. It's nice though. I, I kid, but I actually do really, really love the rain. It's just peaceful. It makes me happy. <laughs> All right, she's awake. Uh -uh. Monkey? Yes, we're gonna go see the gorillas. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna be playing in the rain? Yeah? I hope so. That'd be cool. Grace had a nice hour nap, so a nice hour break for me. It's almost four o'clock now, so I think we're gonna go see the gorillas, maybe do one last ride on the carousel. Yeah. Yeah? Grace is a big fan of the carousel. It's six dollars, but you just pay once and then it's unlimited rides. So we did it like five times this morning and probably <laughs> Yeah, we're going to the gorillas. Probably do another five times. Yeah. For the end of the day, yeah. yeah. But first, gorillas. Well, we made it to the gorillas, but uh, I don't see any. They must be hiding from the rain. Say bye. Yeah. We'll bye. see you next time. Bye. bye. Should we go to the carousel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good plan. But what a fun day. Oh my gosh. Definitely uh, rainier than we expected, but we had such a blast. We saw a lot of really cool animals, splashed in puddles, played in the rain, played in some of the play structures. Lots of fun. Mostly just a lot of, you know, walking and exploring. Now we're going to head home and Steven will be home shortly after. So we'll have a fun family evening together. To the car. All right. Steven's home. Hey. <laughs> Good day at work. It was a very good day, a very wet day. It was not supposed to rain today and it rained all day. Oh yeah, we're, Grace and I, we're very aware. <laughs> are you aware? Did you know it rained today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We had fun. So uh, we are just getting started on dinner. We're gonna do something super quick and easy tonight. Just this uh, Beecher's frozen lasagna and green beans. I like to cook these with uh, garlic, minced garlic and nutritional yeast and it makes them delicious. Also, this is still sitting out on the counter from last night. So while I'm at it and while I'm vlogging, we'll be productive and put it away. The, the kitchen altogether is quite messy. So hoping to uh, do some tidying in here tonight after Grace is asleep. And also I talked about this in the last vlog, but I want to like deep clean and clean out the fridge. I talked to Steven, he's fully on board. And I don't know if this is like embarrassing or just reaching this stage of life where we are both like genuinely so excited to clean out the fridge. For me, it's actually mostly the cupboard I'm excited about. Mm. And it's just like, I don't know, the random snacks that have like accumulated in the back corners of the, the cupboards were like, now that's that's all that is. I don't know. So I'm yeah. excited for the closet mostly. It, or the cupboards. It'll be it'll be good to have a, a clean slate, fresh start in the new year. Yeah. It's all coming together. All right, hello. I have a clean kitchen. I'm so happy. I just uh, tidied up, decluttered the counter, and uh, that alone just feels great. Steven's putting Grace to bed right now, so I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I mean, he might be bummed that he's missing out on some of the fun, but I'm, I'm sure there will be plenty of, of cleaning and organizing left when he's done. <laughs> And the fridge is done. Oh, she looks so empty. <laughs> you did such a good job cleaning it. Thank you, thank you. We've got all our condiments and stuff, some cheeses and, and whatnot in here. Produce, miscellaneous, beverages. Now on to do, 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 the cupboards. <laughs> now this is gonna take a long time and this would be kind of hard to film just like for the angle and everything. So you know what? Well, let's, let's do a fun little transition. Steven, if you will. Ready? Oh, I gotta, I gotta remember my spot. Look at that. If only it was that fast in real life. I want a label. <laughs> It'd be so helpful. Cause like, I think the problem is just like when you come to put things back, it's like free spot. And then you cover a bunch of stuff, and then we, I don't know, kind of dumb to have labels, but I think it would help. You are speaking my language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought you'd be uh, telling me we should get a label maker. <laughs> my favorite example is our sweet, sweet ragu to spaghetti sauce. Oh gosh, yeah, we have to talk about this. Because <laughs> I kept putting it down below in another cupboard. And to be fair, I don't even think I was checking that cupboard. So each of us were like, oh, we keep running out of spaghetti sauce. And then Sierra would bring it in, I'd put it down there. <laughs> it's just like it wraps around the corner. We have like six things of spaghetti sauce because I was putting it in a different place than you were. And so we just had this yep. secret stash. Look at that organization, all the little single snacks. I'd love to see it. Okay. Oh 
My gosh. Sarah knocked over a baking sheet. Grace is just with the bed. <laughs> well, hopefully that doesn't wake Grace up. Bye!